Hey there, uh, it's Seth. How are you guys? Um, this is the first sweet newsletter vlog that I've done. So instead of the blog that you'd normally read, um, I'm gonna try to do like an audio visual version, like me just talking to you. Um, it was uh, actor Josh Charles, who was the sweet newsletter chief critic, was the one who suggested this, because apparently he doesn't like to read. He's not a reader. He's not a strong reader. Anyway, um, he suggested that this might be a better way to interact with the audience and um, maybe more fun. And you won't have to read as many spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes, which um, I know some people get annoyed. Some people love it. I don't know. Anyway, here we are. This is the first one. Um, what I want to talk about this week is Ben Carson's lies. I'm a little obsessed with Ben Carson and his parade of lies. Why? You'd think after the first lie that he never got a scholarship to West Point was revealed, he may be out of the race. Or the fact that this weird thing that happened at Yale, where he took a hard test and was the only one still there, was never proven to be the case. Or my favorite, and the best one, is that he keeps insisting that he tried to stab someone when he was a kid, but no one remembers it, and there's no evidence. But he was still insisting, like, it happened, I totally stabbed someone, why don't you believe me? It's crazy. It's And this soft little creepy voice makes it so much worse. Um, you know, it's like he's saying, so one time I remember I tried to drown a bus of nuns just to see if God existed. Okay, maybe it wasn't a bus. I think it was like one nun. Um, still, who can remember? It was the 70s. It was a weird time for all of us. Uh, tell me someone who remembers everything in their life and I'll, I will bow down to their knee and pray to them. What a creeper. What a creepy, creepy dude. Anyway. Um, so don't worry about seeing the GOP debate tonight. I know it's like the, what, 14th debate and you really have to see it. Don't worry about going to the debate. Spoiler alert. Um, Jeb is going to seem anxious and annoyed. He's going to do a lot of this. <clears throat> Why don't you love me? Why don't you like me? These people are crazy. That's going to be a subtext the entire time. Um... Carly Fiorina is going to do her best Hillary Clinton uh, impression. Um, I'm looking right into the camera. I'm going to say a few things, and I'm going to say them with confidence. And they're going to be very rehearsed. And Trump is going to do a lot of this. And then he's going to do some of this. He's going to do some of this. Some of this. 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 This, 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 a little of this. So, hope to see you tonight at uh, Sweet at the Slip Room. It's going to be an amazing show. Janine Garofalo is on the show. Um, hot talent Adam Conover from True TV's new show, Adam Ruins Everything, which is a hilarious new show. Plus, it's the New York Comedy Festival, so there's lots of great surprises. You have no idea who's going to show up. I'll see you there.